Hi, this is Dave Kettlewell, your host of Masters of Harmonica. And today I want to just give you some very simple basics about the care of your harmonica. Let's talk about you first. You're breathing into the instrument, your breath goes into the instrument, and some of your saliva does too. If you have been drinking pop or beer, any alcoholic beverage, or eating, there will be sugar residues in your mouth or food particles. And if they get into these holes and into those reeds, you're going to have a lot of trouble with your harmonica. So rule number one is if you're going to play harmonica after you eat or you drink a sugary fluid or even beer or any of them, wash your mouth out with water a couple times, rinse. And if you've been eating food, brush your teeth. Get your mouth clean before you play. And you'd be surprised, that'll eliminate about half of the problems you have with a harmonica jamming up. The other thing is, wash your hands before you play. And you might be, well, why? Because you're going to be drawing in breath right past both of your hands. And your hands, if they have gasoline on them from cutting the grass or some kind of residue from something, you're going to smell it and it's going to affect how it feels to draw breath in. So I would say make sure that your hands are clean. Now, something that a lot of people don't really know is why their breath savers are sticking. You know how you play your harmonica and a note will like pop? You'll be playing it gently and then it kind of lurches forward. That's a breath saver that's sticking. And to eliminate those problems, you want to warm your harmonica. There's two ways to do it. Before you play, you want to warm it. One of them is you can just kind of put it in your clothing or in a pocket or under your arm or next to your leg for about 10 minutes to get the instrument warm. That's one solution. Or I have a heating pad and I actually put the harmonica in the heating pad on low with a towel over it and a towel on top of the pad for about 10 minutes just to get the instrument warm. If the instrument is warm, you won't really have problems with breast savers. Now, if a reed starts to go bad on a harmonica, and brass reeds are pretty, pretty common without problem, they usually go flat. Like, instead of being it would be they start going flat and then they crack. <laughs> so they go flat before they crack and they'll normally crack about a week after they start to go flat. So if you start noticing that some of the notes in your harmonica are starting to flat a little bit, that reed's probably going to break. And when it does break, what you want to do is send it back to a uh, professional repair person that can help you to get this repaired. So you don't really do reed replacement yourself. If you go online, you can see videos on how to clean a harmonica so you can get advice there. But that at least gives you some ideas about how to care for your instrument and avoid problems in the first place. And I thought what we would do is to deconstruct a harmonica a little bit to show you what's on the inside. Well, let's go over some of the parts that you can see. This is a cover and this is a cover here.